Hi, I'm Terry, and I'm nuts about stamping. I'm back today with another Sundays with Sizzix project. It's this greeting card that I created using my Big Shot. Here are the products that I used. Along with my Big Shot, my platform, and my two standard cutting pads, I used the Apothecary Accents Framelits, and I used the largest framelit. You haven't seen me use that one before. For my stamp set, Love and Sympathy. I had to create a sympathy card, unfortunately. So I love this stamp set. Even if you didn't use the phrases for sympathy, it's still a beautiful image on it. It's like a watercolor effect. And because mine is clear mount, I used clear mount or clear block H and clear block B. I grabbed some Stampin' Dimensionals. For cardstock, I used Rich Razzleberry. I used International Bazaar Designer Series paper and some Whisper White. If you haven't seen the International Bazaar Designer Series paper, it's pretty amazing. It's got some very bright, vivid colors, but then it also has some designs that are quite muted. Very different colors and really fun paper. The decorative label punch is what I used for the phrase inside the card. I decided um, to make this more of an all occasion card front and then you could make it whatever you wanted it to be inside. So I stamped and punched out the image and raised it up using some Stampin' Stamp Dimensionals. And then I also put a strip of um, International Bazaar Designer Series paper on the inside of the card. Please know that it's great to decorate the inside of your cards as well as the outside. I use my paper piercing tool and mat because I'd like to show you a brand new product. It's called the Paper Piercing Pack Essentials. You get three sheets inside and they are designed to use with your paper piercing tool. So here are the designs. And then this one matches the Apothecary Accent Framelit. So I actually took it and used the whole piercing guide to add an interesting accent to the front of the card. I used Rich Razzleberry and Lucky Limeade markers and my snail adhesive. And I think that's pretty much it. All right, I'll be back in a moment and I will show you how to create the decorative front for the card using your Big Shot. The first thing we want to do is to ink up the image and stamp it down on some scrap Whisper White cardstock. The image is quite tall and as is the framelit, so you'll want to choose a piece of scrap Whisper White cardstock that's quite tall or long so that the framelit fits around it. I just grabbed some out of my scrap pile and laid the framelit on it just so that I would know that it would be about the right size. All right, so I've got my image inked up and I'm going to stamp it down like so. I just think that's so pretty. And now it's time to use the Big Shot, so I'll bring that in. You're gonna have your platform on tab two, which is the tallest, bottom standard cutting pad, your Whisper White cardstock, and then the framelit. The nice thing about stamping first and then using the framelit is you can kind of manipulate the framelit so that your image is in the center rather than trying to cut out the framelit piece first and then stamp inside of it. Okay, and then the top standard cutting pad. Hold it down in place and then run it through. And that's the big shot done with. And then I'll show you what I did next. Was I brought in my pad, paper piercing pad, and then the uh, paper piercing pack, and you just lay it down directly on top. You can see through, there's a dark line. You lay it down on top. Take your paper piercing tool and then holding this down firmly, you want to just poke through following the guide on the map and you're going to set a, create a set of holes all the way around 
the image that you just die cut using your Big Shot and Apothecary Accents Framelits. All right, so I'm not gonna do the whole thing because it's gonna take me a few minutes to do it. Because the, pa the, the pad is square, eventually I'll end up turning this around, laying this down, and then doing the top side. I'll bring this up close to you. Hopefully you can see that I've started my series of holes around the image. All right, let me bring this back in. So what I did was I cut a strip. The measurements will be over on my blog afterwards. I cut a strip of the designer series paper, International Bazaar, adhered that down, and then just a scrap piece of rich Razzleberry cardstock, just to sort of make a, a connector between the Whisper White card base and the designer series paper. And then what I did was I put several Stampin' Dimensionals underneath the layer and adhered that to the top of the card to complete the card. This would be considered almost like a clean and simple card. It's a little bit detailed, but the holes around the framelit are very pretty. And then again, inside, I have a scrap piece of the International Bazaar, and then a phrase that I stamped, punched out, and raised up using my Stampin' Dimensionals. And that's it. Quick and easy card that's very, very pretty. For a complete listing of the supplies and the measurements for this project, please hop on over to my blog. And I'm also too excited to announce, for the first time in a very long time, I'm going to have some blog candy giveaway. You know how I love my Big Shot, and almost every week I show you some kind of textured impressions embossing folder. So I am going to give a embossing folder away on my blog. I'm going to do a drawing on July 4th and you are more than welcome to participate and see if you can win a textured impressions embossing folder of your choice. You get to choose which one if you are the winner. Here's how you're going to do it. Hop on over to my blog and there's two ways that you can qualify for my blog candy giveaway. The first is subscribe to my customer newsletter. If you're not a subscriber, I have a newsletter that comes out twice a month and one way that you can qualify for my blog candy giveaway is to subscribe this week. If you are already a subscriber, you won't be able to resubscribe. So I have a second way for you to qualify. Post a comment on my blog underneath this blog post that shows this card today. And tell me about your favorite textured impressions embossing folder. What is it and why does it make it your favorite? On July 4th, I'm going to draw somebody who's either a new subscriber or somebody who posted a comment. I'll be in touch and you get to choose an embossing folder of your choice and I'll mail it to you for free. I'm Terry. I am nuts about stamping. See you next time. Bye for now.